Hello YouTube, my name is Talon Telverost, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to mod Minecraft Beta 1.7.3 using uh, Fabric, which is the beta version of Fabric. I'm making this tutorial because I could not find hardly any documentation on how to do this. Um, big shout out to the people over there at Modification Station Discord for helping me learn how to do this, and a shout out to 2ZQA for helping me put together this document on how to do this. So. What you're going to need is IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Uh, you can get this from the IntelliJ website. So if you go to Google, you can... I was just doing a test of this. Let me go back to their main page. I guess if you... IntelliJ. Their page is going to look like this, and you're going to want to go down to the Find a Community Edition. Well, you're going to go to Download. I set up some of this stuff ahead of time, so that way we can make this quick. So you're going to do Download the Community Edition. And uh, yeah, as I said, I've already set this up, so we don't have to wait for that to download. We can just run it. Uh, you'll get this file here. So we'll run that. Take a second or two. Also, shout out to uh, Dialco. Uh, maybe you've seen some of his videos. They're pretty cool. Uh, I love the attention to detail he puts into making all of his Minecraft castles and such. And just a really cool, chill guy. I like the community that we have around the beta. So we're going to hit yes on that. Next. Um. So probably, oh, it wants me to uninstall because I already have a version installed. I might just skip that. Then you'll want to select some of this stuff, whether you want some of these options. You can use JetBrains optionally. We'll hit install on that. So yeah, I'm not um, <laughs> much of a video editor, so I don't plan to really cut out everything that's happening in the video. Um, so feel free to skip ahead or skip around, wait for this bar to load. The next thing you're going to need is a uh, Fabric Prism instance. So you're going to want to go to uh, this URL. And I should have all the URLs in the YouTube description. Uh, or maybe I'll have this file there, and then you can find the URLs inside of the document. So and you're going to want to, I actually have a little tutorial here on how to do this. It's only 23 seconds. You just go to their releases, and then drag and drop this zip into your prism instance. But I guess you need uh, the prism launcher first. So you're going to want to go here. Uh, prism launcher. I might also have a website. Yeah, let's go to their website. In the meantime, that's still going. Cool. All right. Yep. You're going to want to grab the installer here, or you can grab the portable version. Give that a second. So we have the, uh, we can now run IntelliJ. So we'll have this. And I've already got an example mod pulled up, but we'll show you how to do all this stuff. So if you refer back to the uh, document, what you're going to want to do inside of uh, the IntelliJ is go to Settings, Plugins, and search for the Minecraft development and uh, install that. So we can do that. File, Settings, uh, Plugins. And you can search 
you want to search the marketplace. I already have it installed, but search Minecraft. Should pop up right away. Uh, then you're going to want to hit install on it, just like you do for this. Um, then that will download, and you'll have that installed. And then the other thing you're going to need is some JDKs. So we're going to go to the file, project structure, project SDK, uh, and we're going to download that. kind of looks like this. So we'll go to file, project structure, project. You're going to add SDK. You're going to download a JDK. You're going to select the version. For this, uh, Babrik currently is using Java 17. So you're going to want to do that. You can select any of these should be fine. Um, my compatriot is running Azul Zulu, so I'll just do a download on that, I guess. Um, hit apply. So then that will download in the background. And then after you download the JDK you need, you're also going to need uh, Minecraft runs on beta 1.7.3, runs on Java 8, so you're going to need a Java runtime for Java 8. Um, you can either down, get a JRE and download that from someplace, or you can once again download it from probably uh, right here through the um, the uh, IntelliJ window. So, or maybe not. It doesn't look like they have Java 8 available anymore. Hmm. Must be because it's so old. But anyways, you can find, uh, just search Java 8 JRE runtime. Uh, you don't need a development kit because that's just to run Minecraft. Uh, and you can download that and have that. So uh, now we're going to go to GitHub and get the Babrik example mod. So we're going to head over here to this our URL. And if you have a GitHub account, you can use this as a template and create a new repository. Or you can just clone this repository down uh, by you know, copying the URL uh, and such. So I'm going to use the template. Uh, we're going to name this some sort of video fabric tutorial. Add a description if you want. this public, I suppose. Generating a new repository. Now we have this, and then it shows you, you can learn how to code with Fabric by uh, going to their wiki page. Uh, this is the wiki page for all Fabric, uh, so modern day Fabric as well as the old beta Fabric, which is built off the same concepts and ideas. Uh, basically, the general idea of Fabric versus Forge is that Fabric, you inject code into the Minecraft source code, whereas Forge, you kind of rewrite uh, the source code itself. Um, and then you're going to want to open up that uh, Fabric example mod in IntelliJ IDEA. So we can go here. Uh, once you have your JDKs, go to open, find your, oh, uh, so I need to finish cloning this down. Yes. You're going to want to go to your repository and you're gonna wanna clone this down to your computer so you can use Visual Studio for this, or you can use a uh, command line. I like Commander for that. You're going to want to select a path where you're going to put it. I generally put my things inside of a GitHub or a Git repository, Minecraft repositories. And you're going to want to name it what you got. Clone. And then you might get a pop-up asking for your GitHub credentials. Visual Studio will want to know that. So uh, plug those in so that way GitHub can, or Visual Studio has access to GitHub and can download that for you. You'd have to do the same thing if you use the command line. You'd probably get a similar prompt. 
then once you have that, now I can probably yeah, refresh this. I've got this uh, video fabric tutorial. I'm gonna trust this project, open it up in this window. This will take a while uh, to download all the Gradle packages that you'll need to for development. So that'll take a minute. Um, but then after it's done, you're, we're going to get some commands, some Gradle commands over here in this tab. So I might actually open up my other Fabric example mod just so we have all the assets downloaded already. Um, and we don't have to wait for all of this. Unless maybe it'll be, oh, that was, that was quite quick, much faster than last time. All right. So you can open up the Gradle tasks, open up Fabric, and what you're going to want to do is generate sources. This will generate Minecraft source files. That way uh, your mod can have source files to you know, inject code into, have all the Fabric magic, and uh, do all the Minecraft development. So this will also take a minute. Give it a second. Another reason why I wanted to code with uh, Fabric or Babric over the current mod loader, which is super popular. Um, and people say that 99% of all the old mods are mod loader, is because of Paul Evs is making uh, better nether beta and his work is just stunning. It's so gorgeous, so, so beautiful. Maybe I can, I actually, well, I plan on making a video covering it because I just think it's that awesome. Uh, so maybe you can look for that in the future, see how cool that is. So once you get, hopefully get a build successful message, if you have Java 17 and you've hit all the other prerequisites that we've gone over, then you can do uh, build here. And what the build is going to do is it's going to generate uh, libraries. So now we actually have the libraries and you can take these libraries and uh, put them in your Prism MC instance. So we'll go back. Hopefully, you know, before you downloaded Prism MC and you ran the uh, installer for that. It should look something like this. Doo -doo. So, yeah, it would look like that. And I already, and you'd get this. Um, but if you go. So there's this fabric, and then they have the Prism instance down to here. And then, like I was saying before, you can go to releases, and you can just take their most recent release and drop it into here. And just go like, oops. Hmm. I see we're going to be this way. Drop it right here, and you'll get this prompt. And you can hit OK on that, or name it whatever you want. I think I've already got an instance named this, so it might yell at me. Let's see what it says. Nope, it just duplicated it. It's interesting that Prism Launcher lets you do two of those with the exact same name. Anyways, I'm going to delete one because I don't need to. Um, and then you can hit Edit on this and go to Mods. And I've already got one downloaded, but I'm going to remove it and then you can go to your libraries your built libraries uh, minecraft repositories video tutorial build libraries and this is the sources so this is might be what other people like other modders could use to help them uh, work with your mod but for runtime we're just going to copy the regular jar into here, and then you can uh, launch Minecraft. And you'll know it's working if you get a message which says, hello, Fabric. So you can scroll up here in this window, and right here we have hello, Fabric world. So that's working, and uh, that's how you get your mod and make it. I wish you guys the best of luck. Uh, as a side note, um, you can also run Minecraft here if you do fabric 
run client and you can also run server. Um, this is not as good I found because uh, it's building everything with Java 17. So it's running Minecraft with Java 17. And as you can see, the window is quite small. Um, this might, this problem might be uh, heightened by the fact that I have a 4K monitor here. So might have some height weirdness. But because this is running in Java 17, it's incorrectly formatting the screen. But it is still playable, and you can still test stuff here if you want to do a quick test of your mod. Um, so yeah, I believe that covers everything. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. And I wish you guys the best of luck in coding. Uh, 2Z, QA, and I have been working on just different annoyance fixes. Um, helping you mine wood and stone faster, or no, just like boats don't break and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and shout out to, once again, to Modification Station Discord, uh, innovating and creating and uh, all the people who make the Minecraft place such a enjoyable, creative experience to, uh, you know, share life with each other, so. Take care.